Hello and welcome once again in our sincere approach towards all the interview questions that we are bringing to you. I think all our research and I'm requesting if this is being viewed by students or job aspirants then it's it looks good. It sounds you know purposeful. If it isn't then I think uh, you should be sending it to someone who uh, greatly needs this. So uh, I'm reiterating that all research content for last hundred videos that we have made on this particular channel so it would definitely definitely help many i'm very sure so let's see as to what is in store today we have been telling you a lot about interview and interview processes interview questionnaires but post interview you are supposed to send an email thanking to the interviewer and the company to make a repo right to make that relationship going and to build on to maybe the next opportunity in case if you have upgrading and, and upskilling yourself and go back to that company if that company happens to be the dream company and you have nothing to lose but to send an email how to do it let's work it out professionally the job interview is one of the most challenging stages in the recruitment process as you walk out of the interview room you might think that your fate is now in the hands of the recruitment team However, many candidates overlook the significance of a thank you email that can work for you. It can really make a lasting impression on the potential employers. Think of a thank you email as a brief note to express your gratitude and summarize your key strengths. Why should you send a thank you email? Sending a thank you email after a job interview is generally considered good practice as well as demonstrating your interest and enthusiasm for a job and it conveys professionalism showing that you appreciate the time the hiring manager took to the interview it helps to build a rapport between you and them as well as being good etiquette a thank you email gives you one last opportunity to re-emphasize your skills knowledge and expertise there may have been missed opportunities during the interview and thank you email is a perfect way to fill any gaps or reinforce the points that you have made during the interview. So who should you send it to and when? When it comes to drafting and sending a thank you email, timing is everything. Write your email as soon as possible after the interview and send it within 24 hours of you attending that particular interview. Sometimes recruiters make the decision to appoint a suitable candidate very quickly. So any longer than a day after the interview may be a lost opportunity. Avoid sending the email too late in the day as it can become lost as more emails come through after hours if you attend a panel interview with multiple interviewers ask for a business card from each interviewer at the end of the interview this will provide you with a set of direct email addresses for your thank you email send emails to each person on the panel and avoid sending a generic message to each one make them all slightly different what subject line should you use? The subject line of your email is worth taking time over. An email with a poor subject line won't leave the best impression and becomes easy to overlook or ignore. If you have already corresponded with the interviewer by email, reply to the last email that they sent you and keep the subject line the same. They will immediately recognize your email and open it. If you need to create a new email, you want your subject line to capture the attention of the recruiter and make it clear what the email is about in the fewest possible words. Don't be too creative though as this can look forced. Here are a few examples to give you some inspiration. Thank you. Job title and interview. Bracket job title and thank you would also do. Thank you and with a colon your name or thank you colon job title in the bracket and your name in the bracket would also do so these are the few indicators of how you can make a title look impressive attractive crisp and yet convey your concern what should the email contain now let's come to this the body text content part 
Once you have perfected your subject line, it's time to move on to the content of your email. Time and thought should go into your thank you email because it could help you get this job. You never know. Remember to be accurate and professional. It is sometimes easy to lose a little formality when creating an email, but it is important that you maintain the highest level of professionalism. Let's look at each section of the email. Salutation. Start with a suitable salutation. The best way to begin the email is to address the recipient, dear, Mr, Mrs or Mrs and then their last name. Do not write their first name, last name, the title one, as we understand, right? Carefully check the spelling of the interviewer's last name. Very important. If you are writing multiple thank you emails for the same interview, make sure that the email address matches the person you are addressing the note to. Never assume anything. For example, avoid automatically addressing the email with Mrs. If you are unsure whether they use this title. If you don't know, it's best to use Messrs instead of Mrs. or Mr. Let's talk about the opening. The opening of your email is perhaps one of the most important elements. It is always good practice to start by expressing gratitude to the interviewer for taking the time to speak with you. The expression of gratitude should then be followed by a strong compliment that captures their attention. This could relate for example to the interview procedure, a key benefit that you took away from the interview or something about the business that really interests you. Starting the email in this way will convey an optimistic and positive attitude while letting the recruiter know that you were paying attention to what they said. Now the main text your email should be brief and the main section should be no more than two short paragraphs that reinforce your main attributes and key qualities. There are lots of things that you can talk about in this section and it will depend very much on the nature of the role and specific details about the job. Here are a few pointers to get you started. Your most important strength first Reiterate the qualities you have that fit in well with the job description and person specification. This is an ideal opportunity to mention something that didn't arise during the interview. Second, mention something specific. If some something really interested you during the interview, mention it. This not only illustrates your enthusiasm for the company but also demonstrates that you were listening. Third, reiterate your interest draw on something from the interview that demonstrates your continued interest in the opportunity now sign off the email should conclude with a further thank you and invite the interviewer to contact you if they have any question make sure that you include your contact information sign off with your sincerely this is the most professional way to close an email or letter and also if you know their name which after collecting the business card you would have established let's come to do's and don'ts when creating your thank you email there are some things that you should or shouldn't do and say for example do's first add a personal touch recruiters really do like emails that are more personal there are lots of things that you could include here such as links to your website blog or portfolio opportunity or a reference to something that come up in conversation during the interview second include all interviewers if you were interviewed by a panel send an email to them all if you do send separate emails remember to personalize each one third keep it concise recruiters won't appreciate a lengthy thank you note but one that is short and reiterates your enthusiasm and skills for the role will really help the email should be no longer than 500 words fourth send your email promptly ideally within 24 hours of attending the interview let's talk about don'ts write your email before the interview always wait until after the interview to write your email it might be an idea to set aside some time after the interview to write it sending a generic or a vague email won't have the same impact make obvious errors Proofread your email thoroughly before you send it. The tone should be professional and should not come across as informal or filled with poor grammar or spelling mistakes. Also, make sure that the names of companies or people you, refer, you are referring are spelled correctly. Third, beg for employment. One of the mistakes that you can make with your thank you email is to sound desperate. Your email should just say thank you and emphasize your strengths. 
Fifth, mention any mistakes. Even if you made a mistake during the interview, your thank you email should not reinforce or up be apologetical. The thank you email should draw out your qualities rather than highlight any weaknesses. Make sure that it is positive throughout and focuses on your main qualities and skills. Now, I'm attaching three email templates of how you can respond to an email. For your reference, please go through and maybe if it is beneficial, you can screenshot and take a help out of it. Now, let us talk about final thoughts. Sending a thank you email is one of the most effective ways to stand out from the other applicants, but it is one of the that is frequently overlooked. Remember, it's always better to send a thank you email than not to send anything. You should always send your email soon after the interview. The email should be clear, concise and positive. Avoid drawing attention to any mistakes or mishaps during the interview. Each email should be tailored toward the opportunity. Personal touches can make a difference. A thank you email gives you one last opportunity to communicate your strengths and ensure that you remain at the forefront of the recruiter's mind when it comes to making that all important selection decision. I'm very sure you're going to do this. Hope this helps you. Thank you.